Hey everybody, Super Paul Games back here. Um, oh, I paused the game. Derp. Hopefully, the audio is okay. I tried to adjust a little bit. Um, let's see. So next, we're gonna want to do, or you're gonna want to do, or whatever. Let's get our horror movie going. So let's shoot it, and then let's go check on. You can just click, double click on the icons. See how our other movie's going. Wait, are they all both using the same set? Let's do seller. No, they're not. Yes. Oh, I can't even add to that. This is just a walking in a ooh, nice naked horror outfit. Use this set, writers. Write me a space comedy. Oh, there's the landscape. All right, here we're gonna put grass everywhere so it looks less shitty. Oh fuck, that was stupid. Yeah, take our nice parking area and just make it all grass. Make it look all hillbilly there. Good move, Super Paul. I hate that username. So in the meantime, what's this dude we're gonna do? Let's make him practice something. Let's make him practice comedy. Sebastian! Oh god, well, he's dressed like a dork. He's like... No, we can't have you be dressed like that. When you're dressed done with comedy, we're gonna dress you up like somebody who looks normal. Like some country club loser. Country club. <laughs> Ooh, the writers are done. See, the, the, it's just like real writers. They get done writing and they want to go use the bathroom and stuff. No, you have to write. You have to write. You're not allowed to have lives. Ooh, a sci-fi one. Ooh, Starship Bridge. That's the next one we're making. You go there. So when some people get done, we're making our spaceship movie. Why did I put a fountain over here? That was stupid. Put it in the parking lot. So don't feel bad if you watch my LP and you're like, those moves are stupid. I feel the same way. <laughs> Let's make everything beautiful. We want a beautiful lot. We love our beautiful back lot, if you know what I mean. I want lots of prestige for how our lot looks. Because there's an award for that. I don't know if you win that right away or not, though. Oh, man. Other people's lots are so much nicer. Look, flower beds. Oh, doesn't that make you happy, people? So where's the ugly? Oh, here's the ugly area. <laughs> So you didn't know when you were watching this game that it's make movies and um, landscape. We're gonna put a beach ball by there, so you can play with the beach ball while, before you take a crap. Doesn't that seem nice? We need more um, palm crap. There we go. Some call it the most pointless flight of all time. Others say it's the most important flight ever. What everyone does agree on is that eight pilots have flown right around the world, and proving Einstein right. When the eight landed back where they started, they were exactly one year younger than when they set off. See, action movies are going up because of these people flying around the world. Action. Crazy flyers. Okay, you're done with that, Sebastian? Hey. We're going to make you wear clothes that don't look dorky. Cut it. Makeover. Mm -hmm. All right, firstly, you need some lipstick. Oh, <laughs> what? You don't care if you have lipstick on? Just a little bit? Okay, you need some lipstick. Can we give you makeup? Makeup shit. Oh no, let's just. Can give you really hairy eyebrows. Nah, I guess that'll go. It doesn't matter what color your hair is, it's not a. Can we get a fro? That's your hair! <laughs> it's like you're wearing, um. Oh, I think Jeff Major did in his. You're like, I got my towel on my head. So, how about some facial hair? Yeah, that is the look. Nails? Mm, maybe no nails. There we go. Oh, no, no. This this clothing is not... Can we go with a cowboy costume? you like that? Oh, come on, dude. You have a freaky-ass cowboy. How about this? 
You look at me. <laughs> you think that he's like score? You look like a total freaking dork. How about this one? Oh, you like that too? This one? How about the space suit? There's gonna be a space movie made. Come on, dude. We're making a space movie, dipshit. Fuck it, you're gonna be a spaceman. If you don't like it, you can go fuck off. Let's see, you can be the one with the fat hips, a skinny hips. You can be fat hips. There you go, fatty. How you like that? Don't ever disagree with me again, Sebastian. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, nobody likes how you look now. You look like a clown. Do you like that? You like looking like a clown? You like looking like a clown? Don't ever fuck with me again. This is my town. This is a dick sucker town. Oh, he's very unhappy now. Oh, fuck off. See, that's what you're supposed to do is make your... Well, you're not actually supposed to make them mad. This movie, because it's got the dot on it, means it's done making money. So we can archive it. And then we've got raw... Ma oh, we got two. Bugmaster and... Ooh, we're gonna have Bugmaster come out first. No, we're gonna have... Uh, let's have Raw Man come out first. Script quality! Yes, yes, yes! Sarah Button! Carl Weston! Our crew still sucks. I think they'd be getting better by now with how many crap movies we're putting out. So let's check this shit burger out. How exciting! Raw Man! Mmm, Raw Man noodles. Carol Weston as the Sarge. Oh, earthquake! 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 Oh, Fatty must have come to town. Fatty's. Oh, oh! I'll fight this earthquake with an axe. <laughs> I gotta ask you a question, earthquake. Die, earthquake! Die! Die! Oh! Oh! oh. What the fuck? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? That was terrible. Let's get some good reviews, let's hope. Hey, that cost less than 10 grand, though. I guess I am a Charles Dicksucker, the producer now. It was cheap! It's okay! Directed with a blatant disregard for quality it was better than the movie before. Ah, oh, shut up about our sets. They don't like our sets. Well written assault on the psyche. Yeah, fuck that earthquake up with a axe. Don't ask me no questions, I won't tell you no lies. Ooh, look, see, we got one of the awards. If we make enough money and we release movies with enough ratings, we'll get the others. And then you get bonuses for that. So let's release this movie. Bugmaster! With Simon Boscarello, C. Harris again. Ooh, he must have done very well. Let's get some more stars on this bitch. Oh, just a one star movie. One star, damn it! Check it out. I hope this has got lots of bugs in it. Or at least lots of masters. Bugmaster? The Bugmaster. I'm sorry. Let's see here, it says PD Mole. Ooh, use that horror meter. Get some horror readings. Dun dun dun. Burr? I got indigestion! It's her period. She's got period cramps and they're really bad. Just like this movie. Just like this movie. <laughs> God. Oh, our movies are so great. This cost, How did that cost 17000 the one before cost ten? This had three shots, literally. One person. A superb movie that's likely to fulfill its potential at the box office. Yes, the acting was decidedly average. Judging by their on-screen chemistry, the stars in this movie seemed to get on fairly well. There was one person in the movie. They got on well by themselves? I get along with myself. Look at all the movies we got out. So let's, um, what is this what we're making? A sci-fi movie? Who's good at sci-fi? Are you? Uh, you could be... You good at sci-fi? Yes. And who else is good at sci-fi? Come on, Commander Dipshit. No? No. I hope you are enjoying my selection. 
No, we're putting Commander Dipshit in there. He's so gonna not like it. There you go, Commander Dipshit. And then let's make some of these other people become friends more. Just like real life. Be friends! And you, Carl Weston, will, you don't get to have friends. You have to go practice comedy. We're fourth studio! Yes, we moved ahead of Old Rope. Just because we made that crappy movie about someone's period, apparently. Ooh, and what's this? Plunder bus? Oh, what? We're gonna use that shitty set? Fuck no. Alright, dipshits. Write me some comedies. Ooh, we got a new writer. You write too. Let's see if there's anybody else that wants to work with the crew. You! Be a janitor. Well, our studio's doing well. We're making money. Let's see what we need for our other awards. Oops, that's not that. Come on, work! Is that what I hold it over? All the employees need more places to go poops. Let's put it out here. It'll be like an oasis. You can do both at once. You're like, I get some food and I'm gonna take a crap. go. And we gotta put our lovely... Oh, we're gonna put these here. Oh, look how it pretty it is when you go. Literally, when you go. <laughs> look, it's like such a nice little poop oasis. I know, they're... What, did I forget somebody? Oh, it's ready to shoot. Go shoot my space movie, spaceman! Some of these people you can see by the green bar getting stressed. You get to be better friends. Whoa, where'd you go? I wasn't paying attention. You get better friends with him. Oh, sweet! We got enough achievements! I'm a wannabe big cheese, so we can get a custom script office. So we can make scripts like we want to, kinda. Because we released five movies, we earned 500 grand. I wish I had that in real life. Yes. Now we have to release a two-star movie. Oh. And one of our stars has to get two stars. Rankings two. And your studio reaches the two-star milestone. All right, cool. So let's build our custom script office. We'll build it here. Um... Oh, they were talking about romantic shit, but I don't have time for that crap. Never get involved with the director. Ooh, now we have two scripts done. Mary shot a horse? Okay, we'll do that one. Writers, where do you think you're going? Do us an action film. Do the script pull. And just like real writers in Hollywood, we don't. It doesn't matter who came up with the idea. Everybody can work on it. Comedy by committee always works. Always works. Ooh, almost time for the awards ceremony. I want awards. Wait, let's go check out one of our movies that's filming. Boom! Do it again. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. I got hurt. You are the Dick Sucker Studios. Ooh. I hope the audio is okay on that. Tonight, we'll be revealing our first ever winners. So without much further ado, let's move on to the first category. Which is... The nominees for highest charting oh. star are... I don't know if any of our guys are the highest charting star. I don't even think it's close. If you've seen any of our films, we don't deserve it. See, the winner gets the... the is... A boost in the public interest of their movies. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike Maxi Pad Worldwide. Dick Sucker's gonna be number one. The short list for the highest charting movie uh, That won't be ours, is... probably either. How about mediocre? Mediocrity. Who's released the most mediocrity? That's an award we could win. Confusing movies people don't understand. That's an award we could win. 
Ew, dirty cream boat creations. This is gonna be lot prestige or something stupid. Oh. We're not the highest turning studio. Fuck you all. Fuck you all that we didn't win. I wanna keep all your model T's in the parking lot. I'm gonna sleep with your wives. That's how you get revenge in the industry. It's by keying the cars. And the winner is we want nothing. What a bunch of dipshits. So it's good to be bitter when you don't achieve your goals ceremony. in life. Make sure you join us at our next award ceremony. We'll Most prestigious studio lot? Awesome. Fuck you, Academy. Fun. Fuck you. I'm out of here. I hate you all. I hate you all. I'm the best ever. You're all a bunch of douches. So let's see, is this script, uh, we got some scripts ready to go. Oh, our custom script office is done, so let's, uh... I, I'm Welcome gonna do this to the same. to the Advanced ah. Movie Maker, the powerful yet easy-to-use tool that lets you create your very own movie masterpieces. This is a kind of cool the piece of the game. The longer your movie is, the diversity and quality of its yeah, sets we'll and scenes, and the more lead... Shut up is you can kind of like originally when they made this game ideally they wanted you to be able to make your own kind of like machinima type shit um so you know you can be like okay i want to do a we don't want to do a comedy let's do an let's do a romance and let's do a detailed structure freeform simple detailed and then we're gonna make oh whatever i forgot how to change who's who we'll just go with it like that and then you can kind of pick the scene. You can be like, what set do I want to start on? And then you got all these different choices you can pick from. So. Oh, wait, that's not the one I want to start with. And then you can add more to the intro if you want. You can go to the next one. You can switch. So if you really wanted to put some time into it, you could make something, you know, it would be mediocrely interesting. Ooh, computer? That's gonna be great considering the time period this is in. I'm gonna run through this fast as I can. They also have two that um there's a way where you can ideally you could record your voice on it and it would make the characters' mouths move. It's not great. It wasn't terribly well designed, but I should have picked a simpler structure. Here, let me just <laughs> I'm just gonna fly through this. Oops, I want the admire baby one. Uh, violence. We need more violence. More and more violence. Oh, this is going to be a forever video. The rest of this movie should just all be violence. And the resolution will be violence, because I'm an American and everything can be resolved with violence. This is going to be a terrible movie. There we go. And then we're done. And there's our script for Portico Wars. Holy fuck. How many scenes has it got? We're going to make this shit factory. This might destroy our studio. We are going to make Portico Rolls. Or whatever this is. You. You are going to direct. Now oh, we're waiting for... um shooting another film right now, aren't they? Well, you know what? While we're waiting for you to direct, you can just... Uh, Go hang out with Poopy McGee. You, is this a romance? Yeah, it's a romance. Do we have a romance set? I hope I actually knew where any of the stupid sets were. I think this is... There we go. We're gonna practice romance. Sweet, we're gonna destroy the studio on this crappy plot movie I just came... Oh, okay, so... And look at all the writers. You fools. Make me a comedy. You're not allowed to poop ever. You're writers. You live in here from now on. This is your home. I own you. Oh, okay, that was going to be the end of this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Next episode, we're going to work on The Portico Wars. The ridiculously long, terrible movie that we're going to sink a bunch of money into. That might destroy our studio. Thanks for watching.